when you walk into a business and you see this amount of awards sitting in the shelving, and this isn't all of it by any stretch of the imagination, you know you've come to an incredibly reputable company. You've struck gold without having to go to the Olympics. We're now talking to Stephen Tucker. Stephen, come on in. Come on, here you go. Econ Christchurch. Great. Now you're at 33 Watts Road here and we're in your showroom at the moment. And you've also got Tucker Electrical. So they run as two, two separate businesses, but of course the electrical ties in with the um, air conditioning. Yep, you need an electrician at one point to put a heat pump in. Of course. So the two go together pretty well, really. And yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Let's talk about this one here, because this is the Mitsubishi electric converter. This one's getting a lot of a lot of kudos on television at the moment. Oh, this is just, personally, it's probably the best heat pump in the market. It's the Mitsubishi Hypercore. It's a six coiled output, but it does it down to minus 15 degrees. So whereas all heat pumps are tested in actually at 7 degrees at 6 kilowatts, this does it down to minus 15 degrees. Whoa. Okay, so how long would it normally... Uh, just go through that explaining about the 9 degrees. About, okay, 6, six kilowatts. So 6 kilowatt rated heat pump. Mm -hmm. It normally it, um, is rated at 7 degrees. Mm -hmm. After that, as the temperature drops, mm -hmm. the heat pump performance drops. So it might become 5.8 and so on. When it gets down to minus 3, 4 and 5, quite a few of the brands are doing considerably less. This particular model will do 6 kilowatts from plus 7 degrees, international test standard, right down to minus 15 degrees without stopping. Goodness me. Now, I clean out my heat pump filters um, probably on, I don't know, about once a month. I take them out, vacuum them, wash them and put them back in again. Doing that myself. Is that all right? Oh, probably a little bit excessive. A little bit excessive? Yeah. I find that they're, they're quite dirty by then. I've got a lot of building going on around me. Oh, OK, building. Yeah, if you've got a building going on, fine. That's a different okay. kind of fish. But in a normal house, yes. once a year should be sufficient. Maybe beginning, of, if you're using it for cooling in the summer, beginning of season. And I suppose the thing of course as well is the fact you've got so many different brands here as well what's the Fujitsu like? Oh Fujitsu is an excellent product um, really high efficient they've got the new E3 model which is out now which is a new refrigerant um, just all the brands are slowly coming to it they're first into market um, really high efficiency and they've got this great win your money back until um, the end of August on the install fabulous up to about three and a half thousand dollars Wow, that sounds fantastic. Now the thing like with people like me who are vigilant about um, cleaning them out, doing our own maintenance on them, that is not a full um, service once a year on it, is it? No, no. Normally, for example, our service, we have a whole list of items we do. There's about 27 things we do, um, right from cleaning the outdoor unit, indoor unit, stripping the cover right off, mm -hmm. taking the filters out and checking the um, circulating pumps and stuff like that. Okay, and people can contact you on yep. this number. Aircon Christchurch, free phone telephone number 0800 161 162, aircon.nz.co.nz.